Hello, hello, good evening. Good Oh, hello, can you hear me? Good evening. Hello. Thank you for being on time. Can you hear me? Okay, Jasmine, yeah, I'm able to hear you, but I don't know why I listen like very, very far away. But thank you, okay? Thank you for joining. So we are six participants right now. Thank you for be connecting and uh, putting your camera. Nice. Carla, welcome. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Welcome, Janet. Thank you. We have Roberto as well, ready for the class. Nice to have you here. Okay, so we are going to wait a few more seconds for the rest. Okay, Sara, welcome, Janet. Nice. Uh, Tatiana, Roxana, Jasmine. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Roxana, Patricia. Hello. Hello, 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 welcome. Thank so, you. Nice, so we are just on time. We are 11 right now. So we are going to wait a few, a few more seconds um, for the rest, okay? Okay, so let's start. So today is uh, Thursday, um, but in, gen in, 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 in our case, it is uh, Friday, right? <laughs> Tomorrow we don't have class. So even though today is um, Thursday, it is Friday, okay? Because tomorrow we don't have class, okay? So I guess that, um, you will be able to enjoy your weekend. Obviously, we have to work in the platform, right? So it's not like a whole vacation, the one that we have. So, but you can spend a couple of hours, okay, working on the platform. And of course, enjoy, right, with your friends, with your family, do something uh, different. I don't know if you work during the weekend, but in case if you do so, uh, that's something that is normal, okay? So thank you for joining. We are 16 right now. And um, thank you for the cameras. Wendy, thank you. Um, yep, let's start. So remember that yesterday was the very first day. So today is the second day. Thank you, Lisette for your camera, Sofia, um, nice, Sandra, it's there, Sandra, Samuel, welcome, Jancy, nice, okay, so uh, we are right now 17 participants, still we have people probably joining, I don't know what happened at the beginning with the link that was like having some issues, okay, but at the end, I was able to log in. So basically, it's exactly the same link, right? But it was like in use. That was the error that I received that the link was unused. So I have some inconvenience at the beginning, but at the end, so we were able to fix it and we are here. So tell me, so how you feel? Ready to start class today? Yep. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So uh, let me share the screen. Okay, I will share it with you. 
And uh, we are going to continue with the presentation that we have from yesterday. Obviously, we will see the second part. Um, let me see. Uh, let me know if you are able to see my screen. Yeah, right. Okay, so this is uh, the same story that we have from yesterday. So we stop right here. And remember that, um, I don't know if we have someone that was not here yesterday or not. No sé si alguien de casualidad se ingresó ahora y no estuvo ayer. I guess no, right? So let's do like a recap. You know what is a recap? And I say, let's do a recap. Do you know what is the meaning of recap? No, teacher. Not really? Mm -hmm. Recap, recap, recap. Let's do a recap right now. Okay, do you know what it is? No? So write it down. Okay, it's R-E-C-A-P. Recap, okay? Remember all the new words, new vocabulary. So we need to write it down, okay? Mm -hmm. so, I'm sorry, Roberta. Okay, so it's a recap. Pecado, teacher. No, no, really, no, really, okay? So it's R-E-C-A-P. Recap, okay? So this is a repaso, okay? So recap, that would be like a repaso, review, okay? Como que yo le diga, let's uh, review what we learned yesterday, okay? So we can, a recap means that we can record, okay? Remember what we learned from yesterday, okay? So uh, we mentioned the general information about the course. Did you remember the attendance? Working the platform, that's very important. Uh, use your camera, put your name and everything, right? So that's something that we mentioned yesterday. The units that we will cover during the, during the four weeks. And we did an, a small introduction about what we do, something important about we, and we mentioned a few things, okay? So then we start with the last, the first, first, first uh, lesson objective that is about uh, transportation vocabulary, right? And we mentioned a few words, okay, that are regarding transportation, okay, probably, some of them are already, you already know them, but probably there were, there was like one or two that probably was new for you. And so it was nice if you learn something new, okay? Then we start on this, okay? This conversation that is between Ashley and Jason, okay? We are going to practice just like one or two times more. And then we are going to continue with the second part, okay? So I'm going to read it one more time just for you to listen the pronunciation. And then uh, one of you who, who are going to role play this conversation, okay? Uh, it says, oh, nice car, Jason. It is yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job hitting the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. Uh, they use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train. Uh, the train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, so that is the conversation that we start yesterday. Okay, so uh, let's see. Carla uh, Alberghi, you will be Ashley, and let's see. Uh, Remberto, you will be Jason. Okay, so go ahead, please. Okay. Nice car, Jason. It is yours. No, it's my sister. She she how she has a new house and and she drive to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? 
No, it's downtown. My parents work down, downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public tra transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's see. This is a job. Okay, job. Okay, trabajo, right? So that's like uh, occupation, right? She has a new job. Okay, then uh, it says uh, bus, remember? No me diga bus, okay? That's Spanish, right? So let, let's let's take the bus, let's take the bus. Okay, slow, slow, okay? But thank you, nice, let's see. Sara, you will be Ashley, Sara. And let's see. Uh, Samuel, David, you will be Jason, okay? So be ready, Samuel, please. You will be Jason. And Sara, you are Ashley, please. Go ahead, Sara. Okay. Uh, Nascar, Jackson, is it yours? Um. Yeah, no, no problem, Sara. You are okay. Let's see what happened with Samuel. So, Samuel, you are Jason. You have to read this sentence. Yeah, Samuel, baby, go ahead. Samuel is leaving. Samuel? I guess that you have inconvenience with your right there. Go ahead. Hola. Oh, now yes. Sí. Yeah, now Hola. we can hear you. No, is is my system she has a now hot yot yot. I she drive to work. Thank you. Sara is her job here in the sub suburban. No, it's dust dust down. My parent works downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near, near our housing, so they take the bus. It really is slow. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's too okay. Bad. That's too bad. Thank you, Samuel. Thank you, Sara. Let's see. We have time just for one more. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jasmine, you will be Ashley. And let's see, Roxana Patricia, you will be Jason. Okay, so go ahead, Roxana and um, Jasmine. I'm sorry, Jackson. It, it is you. Híjole, Jasmine. No. We listen, listen you very far away, but it's okay, no problem. Go ahead, Patricia, sorry. Okay. No, it's my sister. She has a new house and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburb? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They work the bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they say the bus is really slow. That's the bus. Okay, thank you. Nice, thank you, okay? Perfect. So I know that all of you want to read it. Y todos están que me pregunte a mí, que me pregunte a mí, right? But because of the time, so we need to continue, okay? So in the next one, I'm going to I'm going to um, see more participants. Okay, so right now, remember job. Okay, she has a new job. Okay, uh, it says downtown. Okay, downtown, downtown, transportation, train. Okay, no me digan train, train. Okay, train, bus, the bus or the train. Okay, 
slow, really slow. That's too bad. That's too bad. Okay, nice. So let's continue. Let's continue. So sorry for this. There was the closing from yesterday, and this is the class for today. So this is class number two. Okay. So let's see what we have right here in this uh, new part. This is the lesson 1.2. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see who. Uh, let's see. Jancy, could you please help me with the reading? Would you please help me reading the model, the lesson objective, please? Jancy. By the end of the class, you will be able to make simply present stem them using regular verbs. Thank you, Jancy. Nice. Okay, it says right here by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using regular verbs. What is a statement? Do you know what is an statement? Or in this case, in plural, statements? Uh-huh. If this one is a new word, please write it down. Escriban todas las palabras el último día. De clase le voy a pedir unas capturas ahí, a ver si es cierto que las han ido anotando, ok? Just to double check. So it's not mandatory, but my best advice is that if you see a new work, something that you are like, mm, I don't know what it is, so please take a note, put it in your notebook, ok? To learn more words, more vocabulary, ok? So statements are like sentences, ok? En español we say, oraciones, afirmaciones, como que yo diga, eh, el perro come huesos. Esa es una oración, ¿verdad? En español. So, in English, that would be a sentence or that can be also an, a statement, ¿ok? That is an statement, ¿ok? But we are going to be using regular verbs, ¿ok? Uh, eh, later, más adelante, we will see uh, regular and irregular verbs. Right now it's just regulars, okay? So we are going to be able to use the simple present, okay? Simple present. El presente simple es el que vamos a estudiar en este módulo 2, okay? Ya usted, based on what I know, in the, uh, beginner number one, you learned about the verb to be, okay? Ya le voy a hacer un par de preguntitas del verbo to be. So eso lo vimos allá en el uno. Aquí en el dos vamos a ver el presente simple, okay? So I hope that you will be able to remember the verb to be. Si no lo voy a mandar a repasar el verbo to be, porque esa es como la base de todo para que usted vaya encadenando los, pres, los tiempos que tenemos gramaticales en inglés. Ok, so, let's see Because what else. Sorry. Yep. What's the meaning of able? You will be able to, usted será capaz de, be able es ser capaz, tener la habilidad. It says, al final de esta clase, usted va a ser capaz de hacer Oraciones en presente simple usando los verbos regulares. Ok, be able to. Usted me puede, me, me puede decir. Um, unable to um, draw. Ok, yo puedo dibujar. Ok, unable to do it. Yo lo puedo hacer. Ok, so let's see. What else do we have right here? Look at this uh, picture that we have right here. This is the uh, simple present statements. Hello, hello. Sorry, I don't know what happened. I already I'm already connected. 
connecting myself in another device just in case, okay? I don't know what happened. I got freeze. Me quedé allí en cámara lenta, right? So, sorry, okay? So, we are in this part. This is the um, explanation for the simple present, okay? So, probably you have it a little bit different, but it's exactly the same. Let's see. Let's see if you remember details about the um, the previous uh, model. That is the beginner's number one. Um, remember that I told you que hago muchas preguntas. Ahí me gusta preguntar, 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 preguntar y preguntarle y a todos, no solo a la misma persona, a todos. Okay, so let me, let me just see what happened with my Zoom. Aquí que no me deja. See the participants. I don't know why it's like freezing. But let's see, let's see who. Uh, let's see, Senia Patricia. Senia Patricia. Tell me the subjects that you remember. Right, subjects. Exactly. The subjects that you remember, please, Senia. Remember. Repeat, please. Repeat. Yeah, no problem, Senia. Uh, do you remember the subjects? Tell me the subjects that you remember in English, okay? Los sujetos que usted se acuerda en, en, en inglés. Vamos a ver. Sujeto. Uh -huh. in, in Spanish, we have Senia. Yo, yo él, ella. In English? Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. eh, entonces, es el verbo to be, teacher. Yeah, we use the subjects with the verb to be and with the simple present as well. Uh huh. Okay. Eh, I do. Mm -hmm. He, she, we. Day. Perfect. Thank you, Senia. Nice, nice back, background. Okay, you have you are at the like on vacations. That's how you see that you are like in on vacations right there. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Senia. Yes, okay. We have the subjects. We have hey, I. Teacher. Nice. We have I, you, he, she, it, we. Day. Ok. So eso lo vieron allá en el principio, right? En el beginner one. Ok. Los sujetos. Si no se, los, no se acuerda, anótelo nuevamente, please. Póngalo ahí. These ones are the subjects that we have in English. Así como usted se los aprendió allá por segundo o tercer grado en español, que le decían, ¿verdad? El sujeto es la persona que está ejecutando la acción en la oración o en la sentence, right? So, the same story in English. So, we need to know the subjects, okay? Nice. Um, let's see, the verb to be, estoy tratando de hacer como un repaso del verbo to be, esto ya lo vieron, pero es importante que lo recuerde, okay? So, in the verb to be, we mentioned that is uh, ser o estar, right? That's the meaning for to be, ser o estar in Spanish, if we translate that verb, okay? And for the verb to be, we have am, are, and is, okay? We are going to say, I am a doctor, okay? We are using uh, verb to be in a positive sentence, okay? Si usted me dice, I am a doctor, okay? So you are using subject, you are using the verb to be, and you are using the complement. Then if you say, he is my friend, okay? Verb to be, the subject will be he, 
if but uh, share the screen simple present okay listen when